To do nothing is sometimes a good remedy. We must turn to nature itself, to the observations of the body in health and in disease to learn the truth. The way to health is to have an aromatic bath and a scented massage every day. Make a habit of two things, to help, or at least to do no harm. The natural healing force within each one of us is the greatest force in getting well. Leave your drugs in the chemist's pot if you can heal the patient with food. If we could give every individual the right amount of nourishment and exercise, not too little and not too much, we would have found the safest way to health. Foolish the doctor who despises the knowledge acquired by the ancients. A wise man ought to realize that health is his most valuable possession. Cure sometimes, treat often, comfort always. The physician treats, but nature heals. That which is used, develops. That which is not used wastes away. If someone wishes for good health, one must first ask oneself if he is ready to do away with the reasons for his illness. Only then is it possible to help him. Illnesses do not come upon us out of the blue. They are developed from small daily sins against nature. When enough sins have accumulated, illnesses will suddenly appear. The greatest medicine of all is teaching people how not to need it. Our food should be our medicine and our medicine should be our food. If you are not your own doctor, you are a fool. All disease starts in the gut. Walking is a man's best medicine. Health is the greatest of human blessings. It's far more important to know what person the disease has than what disease the person has. Wherever the art of medicine is loved, there is also a love of humanity. Just as food causes chronic disease, it can be the most powerful cure.